Hey guys and welcome back again. So instead of doing a recipe like thing today, I'm actually going to show you what I put in my husband's lunchbox every day. So I have a formula that I follow. So basically he gets the same kind of things every day, but it's not always the exact same thing. The one thing that is the same is his entree. He always has his chicken vegetable soup that he makes, unless for some reason we were out of town that weekend or whatever, and then he has frozen leftovers or burritos or whatever, but generally it's the soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you along as I get his lunch ready for when he comes home. My husband's soup is stored in our garage fridge. It's got a few jars of it, it's up here. So I just take one of these prepared jars, and then another thing I do is I have some boiled eggs already ready, so I grab one of those as well. It's really difficult to do with one hand. Is he gets um, meat and cheese and olives, and so for this week we're having pepperoni. I just use up the olives in the fridge, so I'm gonna have to get a new can of olives from our little pantry storage. And then lastly, from out here in our freezer, he gets a sweet treat. So I've got a few different things that I've made. Uh, we will go with pumpkin bread today because he really likes that. So the main thing I like to do is while he's still at work, I like to try and get it all ready and have it prepped for when he gets home so that way I can just throw it in his lunchbox and he's good to go. So I've got that started right here. So I'm just gonna basically go ahead and assemble his lunch on the cutting board right here. And then when he gets here, I'll put it in its proper containers because because we reuse the same containers through the week. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So the pumpkin bread's already done. It's already wrapped, so that's good to go. Next, we'll move on to the orange and I'll actually have my son help peel. Oh. Yep, we're gonna peel it. Put it in. And then we'll do the same thing with the boiled egg. My son likes to help with this as well. Now this right here is just a little residue from me um, chopping a prune for my son's snack. But I'm going to go ahead and make my husband's trail mix and I'm going to do it right here. He has dried fruit anyway, so it'll be fine. So he gets trail mix every week, but we make it ourselves. So this week, he gets the same nuts usually. It's pretty much always peanuts, almonds, and then two Brazil nuts. And then if we have it, I'll add some dried fruit or chocolate or something like that. And since this week I happen to have all that, he's getting all the stuffs. My husband works a manual labor-like job, so I like to make sure that he has some hearty snacks. So like I said, I do the trail mix, and then the other thing that I do is just some olives, meat, and cheese. So that's what I'm gonna prep now. And I'm just gonna put that right next to the trail mix. This is just cheddar, uh, sometimes it's goat cheese, sometimes it's Swiss cheese. It all kind of depends on what we have. Right now we just have plain cheddar, so that's what he's getting. The next thing that I'm gonna add is just a little bit of fresh vegetables. So I'm gonna grab some prep vegetables out and stick those right here. I have some pre chopped broccoli, so I'll give him a couple pieces of that. And then some mini sweet peppers. So again, this changes every week depending on what we have. Some weeks he doesn't even get any veggies because I didn't have time to prep or whatever, but he gets them this And that is everything that my husband gets for his lunch. There's one other thing that he'll get, and he's actually gonna get a slice of this bread when we go to cut into it to go with the soup. I give him a piece of bread to go with that. But other than that, that's everything. And again, like I said, this is basically the formula that I follow. His soup is the same every time. Uh, the bread changes, the meat and cheese changes, uh, the, if the, what goes in the trail mix changes. The fruit is typically the same. Um, the next day it's actually going to be cuties because we need to use those up. So it's still kind of the same but it's a little different. Egg obviously doesn't change. And then the veggies is iffy on whether he even gets it. And it just depends on what vegetable I took time to prep. 
So that's everything I put in, and when he gets here, I will actually assemble it, put it in his lunchbox, and it'll be in the fridge and good to go for tomorrow. Put it in. Okay, put it in. Oh, good job. All right, close the door. Close it. Good job. <laughs>